Welcome back to Two Chord Camp Songs for Ukulele. My name is M. Ryan Taylor. Today we are going to be tackling McTavish is Dead, which is a wonderful parody on the well-known tune, The Irish Washerwoman. The tune itself goes like this. Hopefully you've heard that before. I never know with people younger than me uh, how much they're getting folk music anymore. Um, but this is a, a, a tune that has become synonymous with uh, Irish culture and Irish uh, identity. Um, it's famously featured in a number of uh, symphonic works and solo pieces in band literature, as well as uh, was featured in a movie with John Wayne called The Quiet Man, which was you know made before I was born. It's a very funny movie, though. You ought to see it. Um, and uh, very famously used throughout the score in that. Um, it is, uh, this is a wonderful parody of it, um, words that don't really belong to the melody, uh, but uh, um, they're kind of funny. And uh, because it's so short, just one verse, we're going to go ahead and uh, do it uh, three times. And each time we do it, we're going to do it faster. And so we're going to start off uh, at a very slow tempo. Um, we're going to start on a C7 chord instead of the F chord that it says in the music. And we're going to put that right on the pickup notes. The Omec Tavish is dead, right? And, and um, that gives us a little lead into it, which is kind of nice. Sometimes you can do this. Um, and then uh, we're going to introduce a new technique today. So be watching out for that. Uh, here we go. One, two... Ready and McTavish is dead and his brother don't know it. His brother is dead and McTavish don't know it. They're both of them dead and they're in the same bed and neither one knows that the other is dead. McTavish is dead and his brother don't know his brother is dead and McTavish don't know it They're both of them dead and they're in the same bed And neither one knows that the other is dead Oh, McTavish is dead and his brother don't know it His brother is dead and McTavish don't know it They're both of them dead and they're in the same bed And neither one knows that the other is dead Right, so there we go um, Obviously you could stretch that speed out to a lot more repetitions, but for the sake of this video, I thought three times was enough. Uh, I say five to seven times and just get faster and faster and faster. And just when the audience uh, and your uh, sing-alongers uh, on your campfire uh, think you can't go any faster, well, then you can pull out this new technique right uh, that we're going to be talking about today so the first verse we just did with a regular thumb strum just once per beat and this is going to be my theory talk time for a second because we're now in six eight and our beats are actually dotted quarter notes uh, which means that they naturally divide into triplets instead of into two parts like in four four um, so anytime you have a um, six or a three, or a nine, or a 12 on top in a time signature, you know that the beat is going to be um, getting a, be able to be divided into a triplet, okay? And uh, if you wanna know more about the theory behind that, um, go ahead and visit this wonderful website called musictheory.net. There is a ton of free lessons there that you can learn from uh, that will give you a really good background in theory and you can take it all the way up to college level theory and it's free um, if you want to download their app uh, which is uh, for your android or smartphone i think they have both versions um, then it does cost something but if you use their website then it's all all the material is completely free and so um, I recommend that for learning music theory and about all these things like time signatures and key signatures. It's a really great way. And uh, I think the guy who put this, put it together is just an absolute saint. It's just an amazing piece of work. Uh, so musictheory.net 
Um, and then uh, as far as uh, the first time through, we were just doing that regular thumb strum. Tavish is dead and his brother don't know it. And then the second time I was doing a regular tr uh, triplet strum, which we've covered before. We got the down thumb up, down thumb up, down thumb. Tavish is dead and his brother don't know it. His brother is dead. And then for the last time for the for the speed verse, uh, I pulled out um, a technique that I learned from a video uh, that Jake Shim Shimabukuro put out many years ago um, where he was teaching a group of Australians, I think, uh, some different techniques and he was showing how to do fast triplets. And so um, this kind of a triplet where you're going down thumb up, down thumb up can only get so fast. About as fast as you can go is... And then, while that's fast, it's not like blazingly, impressively lightning fast, right? And so um, what you can do, and the reason that won't work any faster than that is because in the motion of this, you're going down with your finger, you're stopping yourself, you're stopping your thumb above the strings, then you're going down with the thumb, then when you go, then you go up, and that's, that doesn't slow you down, but that stop, that stop, stopping your hand and then having to follow through with a thumb. That makes it so that you can really only go so fast. And so uh, what what makes you be able to go faster? Well, let's do it a different way. So we're gonna change our triplet strum. We're gonna go down, we're gonna take let our thumb fall below the strings, and then we're gonna go up with the thumb's nail. So down, up with the thumb, and then up with the finger. Now this is the same as that gallop strum that I showed in the other uh, video, except we've evened it out. So at the end of those three, four songs, I was going like this, down, up, up, down. So that's kind of a gallop. Right? But if we even it out, then it becomes, and now it's just a triplet, and it doesn't have that gallopy feeling to it anymore. Now you're gonna wanna practice this a lot of times because once you do, going to be able to take it super fast and it feels so natural to do this and you can take it really fast right much faster than you could ever get with this you just can't get that fast going doing the other version um, and so why would you want to learn the other version well because that version has a strong first beat and soft other divisions. This one actually is strong on the first part of the division and on the second part of the division. Now this allows us to go super fast, but it's just not the same feel. If we were doing, taking it slower, it would sound a little bit, um, uh, a little ham-handed, right? So down, up, up, down, up. You can hear how you got emphasis on the first and the second part of that. Um, whereas this really emphasizes just the first, okay? And that's why we don't use it at slower tempos, okay? So this is our speed strum, down, up, up, down, up, up. And you could hear a couple of those were uneven. So you wanna work on getting it completely even, right? Uh, when you're going blazingly fast, people can't really tell if it's just a little bit uneven, but we're really going for evenness. And that evenness comes from spacing your, your thumb and your finger out at the right distance from each other. Because um, if you have them too close together on their way up, you're gonna get that, you're gonna get that gallopy thing, whether you want it or not. So you've gotta space your finger and your thumb out uh, to get them in an even position. Right. Okay. So something for you to practice and uh, I hope you have fun with it too, because uh, uh, throw a few of those into a song, even if you're not just doing it constantly like that. And it can be really, uh, really add a lot of frosting, glitter and sparkles to the cake. Um, so like I said, hope you enjoy it. Um, next time we are going to be tackling Mango Walk and uh, 
this is a fun Caribbean folk song uh, about stealing mangoes. Okay, so <laughs> there we go. Uh, young ruffians in the Caribbean, right? Um, so uh, peace, love, ukulele, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic day and we will see you next time.